Bunts and Brothers! <laughs> that wasn't quite maniacal enough, was it? <laughs> that was better. Today is March the 1st, which means I've had this bike for 12 months. I think it's about time I did a 12 month look at the bike. Let you know what I think of it really. I thought I'd bring it back here. This is where it all started for this bike. The reveal was down there. I thought I'd go to the same spot and do a 12 month look at the bike. 12 months on, this is where it all started for the bike, in this very spot. This is where I took pictures and photos for the video that'll be up there. So 12 months on, what can I say about the bike really? I've enjoyed riding it, we've had our ups and downs. Mainly me dropping it is the down. I've enjoyed riding it, it's been a pleasure to ride, it's been smooth, comfortable, handles nicely, turns nicely, it's light nimble so it's recently been serviced and with my little friend here i'm going to show you some bits inside the bike that i think you will appreciate more by having a closer look so it's been serviced it's had this first big service it has done 2782 so let's start with the screen the only reason i wanted the screen was for these all the sticky goodness you could ever need or want and there's room for more too so i'm very pleased with the screen it's uh it's doing its job of showcasing vlogger stickers and this that and the other and i've got my spam card holder in there as well that was its only purpose it does that does actually do a good job of deflecting the wind on the motorways as well there are the shorty levers which i've also put on another cheap ebay purchase they do the job very easily very comfortably no hassle at all installing them. Bar end mirrors, they're a recent purchase. I'm glad I put them on, they make the bike look a little bit different. Moving around the bike, I put a rad guard cover on with some side panel ins to replace the plastic ones that were on there. I actually prefer these, they're aluminium, they're light, they give the bike a slimmer look. Yeah, tidy, 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 very good. Then there's the belly pan. The belly pan was a cheap eBay purchase, again. It uh, came in blue, so I sanded it back, primed it, painted it. Thought I got a pretty close color to the wheels, but now looking at it, probably not. <laughs> on the front mudguard, I've got a, an extender from Pyramid Plastics, and on the rear, I have a rear hugger extender from Pyramid Plastics as well took like five minutes to do them not long at all i've recently put on my crash rooms they tend to stick out quite a bit but i like that because i can get a paddock stand and i haven't put the french sliders on yet i'm still waiting for a torque wrench to come for that and i've ordered a socket set as well so as soon as they arrive i'll get the frame sliders on as well now i'm not very good with electrics that's why these are still here and the tail tidy hasn't been put on but yeah i think it looks fine anyway a lot of people would disagree with me on that but i think it looks fine if you buy one of these probably the first thing you're going to want to do is adjust that rear suspension right there under the seat there's a little spanner thing you get it out and then you tighten that up turn it up a few notches it stiffens it up the bike doesn't feel so bouncy underneath you when you go through bends and corners or if you hit a bump in the road it doesn't wobble as much so that there is a good bit of advice adjust the rear suspension now coming up to the front suspension it's not the best it's not great but there are things you can do to remedy this and i am planning to get the front fork preloaders off ebay for like 20 quid or whatever <laughs> and what that is is this part comes off and you put a new one in there and it's got an adjuster that goes in and adds tension to the spring the exhaust will be getting replaced, but it won't be getting replaced until the beginning of April. Now, I'm hoping to get it replaced before I go to an event at the end of April, which I'm going to talk more about in my next vlog, because I need your help with that one, guys. I really do. So that's it, basically. 12 months ownership. Would I recommend this bike for your first bike? I would. It's good fun to ride. 
you can get the front wheel up with very little effort <laughs> I for one have never done that ever ever done that okay it's not as expensive as most of the other bikes you buy new these days and there's less plastics to replace if you drop it it's easy to clean you know I clean this bike regularly it gets three ACF treatments a year it is a well looked after machine it lives in a garage I put a little blanket over it and tuck it in at night and all that kind of stuff I've grown attached to it you know I don't name my motorcycles but I'm tempted to <laughs> that is it for now I hope you enjoyed the vlog this is no joke this is actually the third time I've filmed this so yeah if you enjoyed the video please rate comment and subscribe and uh, yeah you know click my head <laughs> give my head a good polishing and that's how you subscribe to the channel you'll have a couple of video links here and then my head will be in the middle you just click that and away you go thank you very much for watching i'll catch you next time bye bye